So you're busy running your business, helping your clients and trying to also grow, but you just don't have time to do all the automation stuff and make sure that leads turn into customers on your website. This video is for you. My name is Brad Smith, owner of Automation Links. And if you stick with me till the end, I'm going to show you my three steps on how to automate your website. We want to be able to turn a visitor into a lead, into a customer while you're busy running your business. And this is actually easier said than done. That's why we actually go into people's websites and do this for them. Because what we want to do is build the right relationship with your prospects. Somebody's never heard of you before. Let's turn them into a lead. Build a relationship with them. Let's turn them into a customer. And that's what I want, want to walk you through today. And if you're new to my channel, please comment new down below so I can send you this full guide so you can actually copy and paste this into your website as well. So here's the first thing that I want to suggest is landing pages. We always create landing pages in websites. This is a way for us to give them something for free in exchange for their email address right here. And what this will do is allow us to build a relationship because more than more than not, most people will actually come to your website, see if they can trust you, see who you are, look at your pricing and they'll leave and you'll never hear from them again. The average conversion rate for a website is less than 1%. But by adding these landing pages, you can increase your conversion rates to 15 to 30% and then build a relationship to turn that lead into a customer. So that's really key. The next step is we want to be able to do some sort of abandoned cart or scheduler automation. So after somebody fills out your contact form on your website or somebody comes to your website and they fill out the landing page, we want to give them an offer to either purchase and then they'll, if they abandon cart, if you're e-commerce, you can follow up with email or after they fill out the form, ask them to schedule a call if you're a service based business. So here's how we have it here. Somebody comes to our website and they fill out our contact us page. As soon as they fill out that page, they're redirected to a scheduled call. This way they can get on zoom and we can meet face to face and I can build a better relationship and give them a quote. Now, if you're a service-based business, this is perfect for you. You can automate this whole process, which will avoid any emails back and forth saying what time is best, what day is best, et cetera. Just send them your scheduler link and you take it from there. That's how you automate your contact pages and also your landing pages. If you're an e-commerce store, you need to set up abandoned carts. So when somebody comes to your store and they make it all the way to checkout like this, I'll go through our store. I'm going to go and I'm going to purchase our email template series. And once I get to this place and I add to the bag, this is the key because I'm interested, but I want to see that final price with shipping and all of that. Okay. I see what I'm going to get. Actually, I'm going to bring this down to one. Do I have a coupon code? Yep. 10% off. That all looks good. Um, I'm driving in my car, so I'll come back and buy. So I'm just going to leave. That's where you need to trigger that abandoned cart and say, Hey, you were probably driving in your car. You probably got distracted. Don't forget to come back and purchase. And you can set this up with email marketing software like Nutshell, which we use, um, different things like Clavio, MailerLite. I have all those resources down in the links below. But that's really key there is you want to be able to follow up with somebody after they leave your site. That way you can get them to come back because they might be price shopping, looking at competitors. They might have gotten busy and we don't want them to forget about you. Last but not least is having some sort of sales page. So after somebody fills out a form, how can you show them what your price is, what your best offer is, and what action they should take next? Now, if I share my screen again and I show you this, if you fill out our how to automate your business guide on our website, which is our landing page, your next page is actually the full guide. You can get instant access to it. But this allows me to build a relationship with you through video. You can actually buy the course immediately. So you can actually see the price. You can schedule a call with me and you're going to get some automated emails where I remind you to come back and check the course and also buy the, buy the full course so you can get the best results. Now that's really key. What can you do after somebody fills out a form on your website to let them buy right away? Some people want to just buy and they're ready to buy. So if you're e-commerce, I want to encourage you to set up the abandoned cart and also a coupon code on the next page to incentivize them to buy right away because most people won't buy right away. If you're a service-based business or online business, 
want to encourage you to add them to an email automation, give them your best offer right away. And then from there, you can build relationships. You can ask to schedule a call. You can give them more information. And then eventually they'll sign up and buy. Usually a service-based business, not everyone's ready to buy the first day. So let's build that relationship, remind them to come back, and then they'll buy in the future. So what are you waiting for? It's time for you to automate your website. Feel free to reach out to us on our site, automationlinks.com, or go try automating for yourself wherever you're at in business. And of course, ask me any questions you have about how to automate your website even more. Thanks again for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one.